December 13th, 2031. Three months since the meteors. Three months since they came. The pulse took out the satellites. The tech, it's not coming back. We're cut off. Now it's just them. And us. The resistance is forming. Stick together. Work together. Watch out for each other. We fight. Earthfall. It's definitely an interesting and fun game nonetheless. It has minor flaws, but at the same time, it creates a fun experience with other players and friends. Or if you like to play solo, I mean, that's a possibility. Hey everyone, I'm Cat's Ass. Today, we're taking a look at Earthfall. I just want to say real quick, this is pretty much my first official review, which mostly feeds off what I've gotten out the game so far. And then it adds on a little personal pros and cons. Now that that's out the way, let's get into it. So if you like Left 4 Dead, this has a lot of similarities, but instead of the Source Engine and Zombies, it's made in Unreal Engine 4 and you fight off aliens. Now I'm doing my best not to keep relating to Left 4 Dead, but for those of you who have played it already, know exactly why. That being said, I've seen a, a few reviews that say this game is solely for hardcore Left 4 Dead fans, Vermintide or Killing Floor, but personally, I think just about anyone could find some fun or something that they like in it. Probably my favorite thing about the game in general is the setting. There's something that's just entertaining and a ton of fun running around fighting off aliens, whether it's with three bots or three other players. The combat's fun, the missions are decently interesting, and I gotta say, it gets a little challenging at times, even on regular difficulty. Now, that may have been because of the lack of teamwork I had with some other players that were random or because I played with bots that aren't very effective on their average skill. On the topic of difficulty though, I do enjoy that you have the option of making bots more effective without turning the down the difficulty. Potentially you could decrease the bot skill and then up the enemy difficulty if you're into that. I don't know why you would, but play how you want. Onto the topic of enemies, you practically have a lot of same styles as you did in, yes, Left 4 Dead. There's pretty much an alien version of the Horde, which looked very similar to Demogorgons, if you ask me, so that's pretty cool. There is basically a version of an alien jockey tank boomer, and the guy that drags you 100 feet away from your teammates and nobody attempts to save you. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But they're all pretty cool, and just in themselves. Now, weapons, gotta say that they feel really smooth, as in they, they play really well well there's basically no recoil at all and there aren't many choices but you get your basic shotgun pistols dual pistols AKs and sometimes you'll even find a like an M4 with the scope oh yeah and sometimes you can find a minigun but there's I don't know I haven't seen many of them on top of that there are some grenades and molotovs that are useful at times like I said earlier the game is pretty fun and you definitely can have a great time playing with friends or even solo now if you're like me where you not a lot of your friends have picked up this game during early access it can be a little more difficult finding a group of players for the times I've tried joining a game quick play would usually take two to three tries until I successfully got into a game even after joining sometimes you usually have to wait a bit until the host actually launches the game or everyone readies up that's not really the game's fault unfortunately if you do join a game in progress there's currently isn't a way of kicking any other players so if you got someone that's afk they're just going to keep going down and you lose potential help of the bot now i'm not exactly sure when this game did release on early access but even after launch there aren't many players i believe the highest count i've seen at the time of making this video is 500 according to steam charts other than some matchmaking issues i haven't really experienced any game breaking bugs overall it's definitely a fun game and it has a lot of potential I hope to see the devs putting out more patches, updates, or even more content. The game runs great, the graphics are pretty good for themselves, and for $30, I gotta say, you definitely get what you pay for, in my opinion. If you're not super into it yet, then just wait for a sale and pick it up then, but who knows when that'll be. So that's my opinion on Earthfall. Let me know in the comments so far if you have played it already, or whatever feedback you have. Thanks for watching, press the like button if you like this video, and subscribe for more upcoming content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. baby.